All right guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about jQuery selectors. What are they? And if you're anyone familiar with CSS and HTML, you already know jQuery selectors, even if you didn't even know what jQuery selectors were. And we kinda of did this in the last video. So let's break down our jQuery. We call our jQuery right here with our money sign. And uh, you can call it just by typing in jQuery. It's the exact same thing. But uh, use the money sign for a shortcut. And I got my keyboard in my lap right now because it's picking up way too much sound. I'm still trying to figure out this microphone. So let's break this down. Okay, so our P in here, it's actually our selector. It's how we indicated what we wanted to have done down here to our paragraph HTML tags. So let's break this down. The money sign is jQuery. It calls this selector. And right here, this is the method that's been compiled already in JavaScript. And in here, this is where our argument goes for this method. But don't worry about the argument right now. There's a lot of jQuery methods that don't even have arguments. We'll talk about that in a later video. But let's talk about the selector we used in the last video. So what we did is we played around with the JavaScript methods of show as well as hide. And as with CSS, with ID and class, it works the exact same way. So say we'll have this as an ID which is the pound sign, and we'll set it to, I don't know, maybe VP, just like that. And let's go ahead and create this. Let's change this down here to div ID equals VP, double quotation, and let's get rid of our closing uh, paragraph tag, and let's close it with a div tag. Let's save it, now let's reload it, or open it with a, with a browser. Right click over here, Safari. Okay, what's up Village Park? Well, it was gonna show up anyway. Let's go change this to hide. Now it should vanquish. All right, perfect. And it works the exact same way with classes. So we'll say div class equals VP, let's change this up. For class, we use a dot or a period, and we'll save that. Let's go ahead and reload it. It should still not show up, perfect. Let's bring it back. Getting a phone call. Save it, let's go ahead and reload it. What's up, Village Park? Okay, so it works the exact same way as CSS, just calling it from like an external style sheet. And uh, hopefully this made sense. In the next video, we'll talk about some more methods as well as arguments. So good luck with this. Play around with it. Create some different... Okay, dude, I'll call you back. Uh, just play around with it. Create some examples. Get comfortable with it. But if you're anyone familiar with HTML and CSS, you already knew how this was. You already knew what to do. All right, guys. See you in the next video.